right, so this is going to be our Exacto Merge unit. This is actually a 1795 Exacto Merge. Uh, so it's not a stack fold. This is going to be a drawn planner. One thing to remember is these front units would fold out to go back to the planner. As opposed to our stack fold, the units would fold down. So it's what we're looking at today is going to be the actual row units. So again, we're going to see our mini hopper. Since it is a CCS, we're going to see our mini hopper listed here. And we're going to see our seed dome listed here. First thing we're going to do is disengage the... Um, vacuum hose. Once we disengage that vacuum hose, we're going to see our seed dome comes open. So one thing that's different on the seed dome on an exact emerge than it is on an ME5 unit is one thing to remember is, is it's dome shaped. So when we say it's a seed dome, it's actually very, very much domed and very bowl shaped. Again, it does have a rubber seal on the inside. It is important to make sure that, that rubber seal is not folded uh, and that we're getting good wear on it. We do have our doubles eliminator or our knockout wheel here. Sorry, our knockout wheel. If we want to change that knockout wheel, the principle is the same as it is in our ME5 unit. We simply snap them in and snap them out. Seed dome. So underneath our seed dome is actually going to be our, uh, our seed plate. So one thing to remember on seed plates on an Exacto Merge is again, they are bowl shaped. So this is going to be our seed plate for our Exacto Merge. It's not flat like we're used to on our normal planters. It is a true seed dome. But as far as characteristics, up at the top, it's going to tell us how many holes are in that individual plate. One thing you'll notice is there's holes all the way around. This tells us this is a soybean plate. If we had skipped holes, then we would know this is a corn plate. One thing to remember is our knockout wheel does coincide with the holes here. Actually would sit as so. So we got our seed dome, our meter dome, and our seed plate. So from our seed plate, now we can actually get into our seed meter. So one thing we're going to start to see that's different is our doubles eliminator in our in our previous unit is we had a doubles eliminator that simply slid up and down, whereas our double eliminator here is actually a set of fingers, and these fingers are simply adjusted by squeezing units up and down. We take it completely off, and we can put it here. Uh, these are replaceable. One thing to remember: there is a pip. Originally, these were released with um, <coughs> paintbrush type ends. Now these are rubber ends. These are there is a pip to get these replaced for you. If we want to change your hub tension exactly the same as it is on our ME5 units, we simply pull that pin and adjust our tension. We want to have the same amount of tension here that we had on ME5. We do want to be able to spin it and it stop, but we don't want it to free spin. Other thing that's, that we want to look at on our metering unit here is to disengage, is we're going to unlock at the top. Once we unlock, we're now going to have the ability to release our meter completely. And once you see that meter start to move, we're going to see our seed brush at the bottom. Again, we knew we had our mini hopper up here at the top. So once we get a look inside that mini hopper, we know that seed is going to flow in and our seed bowl is at the bottom. You're going to see our smooth agitation strip. If we're in a soybean situation, the smooth strip is what we'll use. Whereas in uh, corn and soybean or in corn and cotton, we'll actually use our rough strip. So to change those strip, we actually just pry that strip up and the rough strip will go in its place. We have our single brush system here on our exact apply unit or exact emerge units. So we're going to disengage our seed delivery tube. Now that will allow us to completely disengage our seed meter. So we flip that seed meter over. We see where our exact emerge our yeah, exact emerge meter is actually driven. It's driven with a star drive this from this electric uh, electric motor here. Uh, one thing to remember is the meter is driven by an electric motor and the brush belt is driven by an electric motor. They are actually the exact same motor. Uh, one thing to remember about the meter also here is again not only adjusting the torque, but we have to make sure that our vacuum uh, our vacuum plate is in improperly. I'm going to set our seed meter up here at the top. Now we're going to have our brush brush belt down here at the bottom. So to disengage our brush belt, we'll make sure that we lift that green holder up. We start to pull that brush belt back. One thing to remember as we start to pull the brush belt back is that our seed tube sensor is listed right up here or is actually right in the front of the meter. So if you can get a look at the way that uh, sensor is used. One thing to remember, once you get that lifted up, you have to make sure to disengage that sensor before you can actually pull that brush belt completely out. All right, once we have our wire unplugged here, we simply then lift that brush belt completely out. Again, we see our motor up here at the front of the meter. We know that this is driving the brush belt. This is driving our row, row meter. So if we wanna adjust the tension on our brush belt, uh, we simply turn the knob here. One thing to remember when we're in the off season, 
want to make sure that we adjust this brush belt down so that it's in a relaxed position. And when we're going to the season, we always adjust it back up so that it's under tension. One thing to remember that's important about this brush belt is this brush belt is simply turning as so. So where our meter has a hole in it, right here. So as seed is coming off on our meter, it actually comes onto our brush belt. Once it comes onto that brush belt, seed then travels around the brush belt, past the sensor, down the brush belt to the bottom. Here at the bottom, this is where seed would actually enter the trench. The brush belt would continue to flow. It goes by our brush belt conditioner. The brush belt conditioner knocks off any excess dirt or talc as it comes back up, which keeps our brush in good conditions at all times. Our seed tube sensor is located here. Seed tube sensor is replaceable. Uh, after we take the uh, cartridge apart, the seed tube sensor will simply slide out. So when we're looking at our row unit here, uh, one thing to remember when comparing this to our ME5 row units is the lower unit is very, very similar. Our adjustment for our closing wheels is here and our adjustment for depth is also the same. Uh, again, remember here, when our cartridge is down, our cartridge actually takes seeds all the way to the ground, which is different. So it does not have a seed tube. Seed travels along the brush belt and is cradled all the way down to the bottom of the ground. This is what differentiates Exact Emerge from any other planter that's on the market. So it is relatively important to keep that in mind.